I am so good. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Are you guys looking at this Dolly Parton meets Barbie <laughs> ensemble? This is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> the Western boots. Oh, thank you so Herb much. I, I, I feel like I, I do fit the bill. Thank you guys so much. So um, just kind of to start, uh, you know, I, I've met a couple of you before, Dom, we've never met, but coming to these conventions and your fans are so wonderfully passionate. You guys come out, you guys support all the time. So <laughs> I, I wanted to ask about your fan base and, and maybe some interactions that you guys have had with the incredibly supportive fans. Oh I know, where, where to begin? I mean, it's just been life-changing. I talk about it all the time. It's just the thing you can never be arrogant enough to wish for when you're just running around the woods making the show, right? But it's gotten to the point where like, I know, we know so many of you and there's so many friendships and marriages and there's a doctor here who diagnosed someone else with something life-changing, which is incredible. Like, I just think, Watching you guys interact with each other, I keep joking like you're not going to need us in a little while. You can just have your own convention with each other. But it's been <laughs> boo boo, uh, canceled in the first five minutes. Um, no, it's been incredible, and like the fact that the fandom has kind of adopted this sort of um, theme of kindness and inclusivity just is so inspiring and amazing. So thank you. Yeah, it's it's like we were saying, um, like, it's kind of amazing that everyone keeps showing up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, how long has it been off the air now? Like, an, enough time to be like, okay, you would expect that, you know, maybe there would be slightly less, but just like coming here. And, no, exactly. And that's... <laughs> And that's what's so special. And even like Tim, you know, they sent a picture saying, you know, you've got some people already in your line. And Tim's like, I know everybody in that photo. Like yeah. that's <laughs> just so special. And uh, really it's like, yeah, this family just continues to grow and it's just the most special thing we could have ever imagined. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean, I, what else can I say other than all of those things? It's one of those things that I just feel so lucky to be a, a part of it. I said it from day one to know, you, to be aware of when you're, you're in a really good part of your life, sometimes you're not aware of it, you know, and you look back, you go, damn, that was a really good time in my life, but I've always known this is special and this keeps going. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like amazing, you know, like from, from Lynn, I've known from, I feel like day one to the beautiful letter you gave me to the wonderful world, Gretchen, Gretchen gave me a note yesterday that killed me. And it's like, you know what I mean? You guys are amazing. You're, you're honestly, you're awesome. You, all of you are just like my friends. We're his friends, guys. We made it. We did it. Uh, and one of the things that you were starting to mention, I feel like um, this show has so much beautiful representation. Um, so thank you guys for that. I wanted to know maybe about like the evolution of your characters and as far as writing, like when did you know that you wanted to make sure that this show had so much representation for everybody? I mean, I think the premise of the show really was taking all the people who are traditionally on the fringes of a Western and making them the heroes. Do you know what I mean? Like taking the people who are usually the villains or the prostitutes, God bless, or whatever, um, and kind of like f making them be heroes. Um, and I think that's part of what was so appealing about the show. Um, but really, I should let these guys talk about their characters because it's also just a testament to how good I was at casting. No, um, no, but honestly, just like, thank you. You're welcome. No, no. Um, but just like to be blessed with a cast like this who were so invested and so committed to the concept and their characters, you just, you have all fallen in love with what they have given on screen, just their commitment and them wanting to make their characters better, I think is what really made the show special. So. It really feels like everybody that is a part of this show like came together at the time that it did to create something so special. Like it's just like this amazing law of attraction, like just we were all supposed to be here doing this together and I think like every single person 
like it, we, it matters so much to us. And it's so cool to hear you talk about just that idea of, I, I'd never heard you put those words to it, and I just really love that. Oh, it's just you. really cool. Um, but yeah, so for me, it's like, I feel like I was gifted just the most beautiful character. I feel so lucky and fortunate. It's one of those roles that's like, once in a lifetime, you, I, we, we have often said this, but like you say, it's like a, such a special time in our life. And I think we've resigned to the fact that we may never get a role like this again, and that's okay. It's like we are so blessed to have been on this journey. And, and yeah, I mean, on a personal note, like waves changed my life. Like, Aww. sorry. <laughs> it's true. It's, Yeah, I, you know, I had been repressing my sexuality since I was nine years old, and and then being magically cast in this character without knowing, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, and then just being like, wow, this is going to be the moment where I, I go on this huge journey, and and it has, um, it's meant so much to me personally, and and seeing how much it has helped other people too, it's like. I'm so proud to be a part of this show. So Aww, thanks, thank Sam. You. No, thank you. Yeah, I mean, same again. I'm like at the end here, but you guys you say everything perfectly. <laughs> you have to first time. Uh, you know, yeah. I agree with all of it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things where I re I feel really really lucky too in the sense that. When I watch it, I just, I honestly feel like Doc had one of the best arcs of everybody, yeah. you know? And I, and I don't think it was like, some people say, what was your favorite scene or what was your favorite season? And for me, it was all of it. Oh. I can actually to look back at it as one thing and the growth and the journey and just the fact that he was a good guy. Mm -hmm. it, it, it meant so much, like it really did. Um, I kind of always knew it when, I, when we were doing it. There was some some parts where I was a little, <laughs> vampire? We're a little vampire? <laughs> um, but it's like, I know you care about the characters as much as you care about these people. Mm -hmm. You care about us as much as them. And if you know how much that is, uh, it's a lot. So I never, I never was super nervous and I was always stayed true. But to look at it after four years, just thank you so much for just the oh. best character oh. and the best show, it's like all, all time. It's incredible. It's, it's so fun to have these two in particular here today because one of my favorite things about you, I'll just hijack this, don't worry about oh it. Oh my God, go no, for no, it. No, I'm just kidding. I, God, I'm no. chilling. But one of my favorite things about you two is everyone was committed, but you two were always the two who wouldn't read the script before the read through. So it was the most satisfying looking at you guys flip it over and like digest it as you're reading it and be like, what the hell? Like looking at the table across from one another, like, oh my God, everybody else trying to play it cool. So that was pretty fun. They were pretty great to write for, so. Well, yeah. Was that a choice to not like read it before the, the read through or? It was for me. I mean, yeah. we were already kind of in one, and I just know it's these scripts. Shit happens, <laughs> so I just I just tried to just stay where I was for while we were at, and then get it, and just be like so mind blown. Yeah. I must admit, there were times where I was like, I can't, I can't wait, yeah, I can't yeah, wait, yeah, I need yeah. to know what's going on. Yeah. But yeah, how does she do it? Yeah. So uh, before we uh, get to questions from the crowd, if you guys want to start lining up, now is your opportunity. Uh, Dom, I wanted to ask about the Start the Wave organization. Yeah. What, what, you wanted to, me to talk, just talk about it in general? Sure, or? Um, yeah, I, I, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's, sure. let's go yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Um, so Start the Waves, a nonprofit organization that uh, came, I think I started it like season two? Season three? I'm not sure exactly on the timeline. And it has evolved into a, an organization that funds positive change worldwide. So um, we... Uh, support folks um, that are uh, that traditionally face the most barriers to getting funding and um, we prioritize projects that are led by uh, black indigenous folks of color uh, trans gender non-conforming people and disabled seen and unseen 
And uh, we just try to spread around funds to the people that are doing incredible work to bring in a new world. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I love that y'all are like talented and good people. Like, yeah. it's a great crossover. All right, we're going to go to the questions from the crowd. What's your name? What's your question? Uh, I'm Alice, and I have a little bit of a maybe truth or dare for Emily. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> truth. <Either. laughs> well, it's, you got to tell us what's, what's the news you can tell us, oh. or the, the dare is uh, have Tim teach you the Joey Fatone dance. Oh, wow. I guess I'm cooking dinner. I guess we're dancing. I always hope I have news for you all. I love you all very much. You are a testament to the power of ERP. Um, we are determined, as always, to keep telling ERP stories as long as we can. And let's do the dance. Yes. I oh, oh, it's happening. Oh. Guys, it took me. Dom in there too. Yeah, Dom. Dom. <laughs> no video, right? They are. Okay, uh, we, you, you guys, you're not understanding. These, they saw a 14-second clip of me doing it. Do you know the Bye 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 dance by NSYNC? Kinda. Well, get in or eat. Can you help us? I, a little, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, so I, I, I feel like you'd be better. What they don't know is it took me 17 minutes to <laughs> learn the four moves. Okay, go. Uh, go. All right. Oh, my God. See, my, my next panel is with Joey Fatone. This would have been good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where is he? Well, let him know that I'm... I will. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, it's a Stay right, ready. right. Oh, we have. Left. Oh. No. 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 She, okay. Okay. Right. Left. Left. Right. Oh, there's more right. This punch. Weird move. Purse, everybody. Yeah, that, that was. Oh my god, y'all need to start a band now. And what a fun question. Yep, yep, Woo. praise to you. I didn't stretch ahead of this panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm Archer, and we know that Wine Dog, they leave in the last episode. What do y'all think is y'all's character's reaction? And Emily, what do you think their two reaction is when they come back with Alice Michelle? Oh, when they come back with Alice Michelle, I mean, yeah, this is a question. I have like, I have mixed feelings about this because I think that I really thought that Winona's choice to give up Alice was sort of a beautiful choice. I think that they are present in her life, but I'm not sure they'd bring her back to somewhere so dangerous. Like, I don't know. I think like... I'm sure uh, Way Hot are incredible ants and like never miss a birthday, are constantly crafting, all that stuff. I'm sure Doc spoils her rotten, but I, I don't know. I don't know if they're bringing them home to the homestead. I don't know. Good question. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I just, think, I just think there's something beautiful about the fact that there's a million different ways to be a mother and also choose what's best to be your, for your kid. So I think that Winona's choice to give her up, I don't want to diminish that choice exactly. I think that was still the right choice, so. Sorry. And, and I mean, obviously, Winona can handle anything. Yes. She's dealt with Bolshar and Bobo, but I don't know if Doc and, and Winona can handle a toddler. Yeah. I don't know if they can handle that. I don't, it might be too much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought they were gonna ask you guys to do a Backstreet Boys dance, yeah, but yeah, that's all right. Exactly. All right. <laughs> For the words I never thought I'd get to speak, I get to tell them to my heroes. So my question is, what is something you learned about your life through stepping to a character from a completely different life? Oh, that's a great question. That I'm queer. Made <laughs> <laughs> it up. Oh, good. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, all jokes aside, like I knew, I knew when I knew for a long time. <laughs> no, I did know for a long time, but um, standing unapologetically in my queerness and, and being so lucky to be a part of a show where 
there are queer characters that are just queer and beautiful and embraced and loved and unapologetically themselves helped me enormously in, to do the same. I think that's the best answer. <laughs> Great question. Thank you, Gretchen. Good. What's your name? What's your question? Uh, hello, my name is Izzy, and my question is for all of you. Uh, other than your two characters, who is everybody's favorite character? Champ, obviously. Oh. Fan favorite. <laughs> Fan favorite. Oh, man. Oh, it's so hard to pick. Uh, it's always been Waverly. I love Waverly. Uh, watching the show. I just think I've always loved waves, well, and, I, and everyone knows. Dom's here. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's it's not. It, I'm not. I, yeah, and uh, everyone already knows I love Bobo. Yeah. We need more. We need more yeah. Bobo. I did run into the Stone Witch on the street last week. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Just in randomly. Toronto <laughs> by my house. Yeah. yeah. We, we were texting at the same time. It was like the most. most it was the most yeah. random thing yeah. ever. I'm like, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we were talking about yeah. multiverse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Um, well, who's your okay, I'm gonna have to go with Winona. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I I just I've been rewatching the show and it's oh. just. Is it good? She's. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Speaking of Champ, he was so he was good. So it was good. so. He was exactly what he needed yeah. to be. When he yeah. kisses my face, oh, when I'm like crying, I'm like. I'm it's sorry, so but that kid was perfect. He was perfect, Brent. It was yeah. so good. Winona, uh, yeah. Anyway, sidetracked. Um, All right, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah no worries. Thank you. I was going to say, uh, from now, like, re-watching the show, has there been a moment that you're like, oh, I totally forgot that that happened, and now you get to watch it again, essentially, like, for the oh, first time? All the time. All the time. Yeah. I was saying I was watching episode 201, where you guys go to rescue dolls, and I was saying how amazing you are. That's how do you like my mustache now? Oh, yeah. On like you and Kate Drummond as yeah. Lucado, and like for those of us that know Kate, she's like this kind of big, cheerful person that she's so tough in it. Like it's really good. I, I, I it's nice to take a little break from it and then watch it again. I know you guys don't believe in taking breaks, but uh, for me, I've been like, oh, I, it's so delightful to watch and be like, this is really good. This is excellent. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Do you know the storyline that I really loved that I'd completely forgotten about is the fish. Um, Levi. Fish and Levi. Levi. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's yeah, so good. It was so good. good. And yeah. you, when you see fish, fish! Oh, yeah. oh my god, yeah. I was like so happy. Yeah. Didn't Did you say that was like the coldest day you've ever shot? We stopped. Yeah. That like, was the one day we shut down. Yeah. Yeah, like, it was too cold. Yeah. They literally said, close it up. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And we, uh, we all went home. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good. What's your name? What's Hello, your my name is Rick. Uh, I have a question for the whole cast. Um, so on those days when you had a very long shoot or very cold days or the days when it was not going well, uh, who was the cast member that really helped keep the rest of you guys together, that, that made it funny, made it positive? Tim Rozon. <laughs> Tim. 100%. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. I'd vote for Tim. I'd vote, I'd vote for, for Tim, Tim too. too. Yeah. I did have a lot of fun too with, uh, with Sh Shamir when he was there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we used to just hide each other's shoes, and we we did all kinds of goofy things that you should do on a set um, while you're working professionally at all times. No, saying that you the, are professional. Yes, but you're relentlessly cheerful and good. Yeah, yeah. Tim. Thank Tim you. Rose on, yeah, sure. Tim Rose on. Yeah, Tim Rose on. Woo! 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 Hi. Good. Uh, someone very well known in this. Uh, on the stage uh, asked me, or I asked what question they wanted me to ask, and it was like, what do you like about each other? Additionally, what surprises you about each other? About, yeah, about us? Yeah. Sorry, I was like really lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Nothing. Oh my gosh, that's a huge question. Yeah. What do you like Turn to your left, that's who told me. I met the characters, but it's fine. I'm going to go with it. Okay. Um, I like everything about these guys. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of something specific I can say about you all, though. I think Dom is so curious about the world and open-minded and just, like, 
so willing to learn about other people and their adventures and like they are honestly one of the most charming people I've ever met in my life without a doubt like just like goes in a room and like everybody is like yeah that's the person and like Tim and funny and funny oh Doesn't so know. funny yeah I agree you're yeah. such a funny storyteller and like the most satisfying person to tell a story to because you're such a good like laugher <laughs> and just like yeah animated it's the best and Tim is just like such a relentlessly kind also funny I don't think Tim knows how funny he is like so, so funny, funny. Yeah, so funny. yes and generous and kind and open-minded Pretty good great mustache. Dancer, great dancer. I heard he's going to replace someone in a big band coming up. No, yeah. just kidding. I mean, this is, the, this is the blessing of the cast, that like they are all such lovely, genuine, good people. Smart, funny, pretty good looking. Not bad. Five out of ten. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tim Rose on Heart of Gold. Like, without a doubt, uh, just seeing the way he is with everyone, it's just like a constant reminder of, like, the good in the world. Like, oh. really, through and through, always just, like, showing up. Yeah, in, makes that choice. Yeah, just makes the choice to be kind. And there's not, not it's not always the case, you know, in, in this world. So it's just, like, such an incredible representation of, of like, Love, like just love. Um, <laughs> and Emily too, um, you are just like such a special, special human being with like, I think the, the fact that you've created this show says so much about who you are as a person and like the inclusivity and everything that, that has come through this fandom is really like a mirror to you and being the core of it, it's like, yeah, just the most brilliant brain, the most brilliant human being, and, and really the, the core of what this is all about. Yeah. We cry on Sundays yeah. only at the ERP convention. Sundays only. Sorry. My gosh. Uh, what to say? I mean, I don't know. I just remember... We were on set, and we were outside, standing and getting sun. Do you remember we were getting sunlight? And Paolo Barsman actually took a picture of it. And the two of us were just sitting there getting sun, and we looked over, mm -hmm. and the two of us are just gently sitting there in the sun. And that's how I feel sitting next to you for Aww. seven years. Just that part has not... We said we were going to cry. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, and then... The same thing with Emily. All right, I, I, listen, I, I've told other people, so I, you've been my crush forever. I literally said... <laughs> everyone already knows. What? They, they all know, everyone knows. I literally said... You're, I literally don't know this. Oh, I yeah. couldn't even talk to you on Instant oh, no, Star. I, 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 you what? First of all, this you're the... My, you're, this is the news. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tea right here. You're I, like, sometimes I think you don't even like me. No, no. Uh, the whole I mean, hard to get thing. She, she's the boss, and she's a boss. You know what I mean? So there's so much respect, and you see the boss, and then she's so smart and talented and brilliant, and then so fucking funny that you just say the craziest shit, and in my brain I'm like, that's my boss. <laughs> It's just nuts, and it's the best. I mean it in the best thing, best way possible. Like we're so lucky. We're, we're the, the you're the best. Thank you. Oh my God! Thank you. Thank you. All right. Should we all like collectively take a breath before? The... <sighs> all right. Come on. So was that question supposed to be about your characters? <laughs> I don't know. Way better. That's a good test. All right. So knowing what you know now. What would you go back to tell your season one self about the journey you were about to embark on? Mm. And would you do anything differently? And that's for all three of you. That's a good question. These questions. These are great. <laughs> would you guys do anything differently? I wouldn't do anything differently, but it was hard. Like, season one was hard. And I forget that sometimes when I look at all this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was hard. And there were a lot of behind the scenes struggle at the beginning 
to really make the show that it is. Like there was so much strife to keep Winona funny, to let Mel be her thing, to let Waverly be queer, to let Doc play in those shades of gray, which he was, he was so good at. Like, I'm not saying like, that's very normal in a season one, but I some, my partner sometimes reminds me like, remember how hard it was? And it's like, no, it's like giving birth because you just see your beautiful baby and you're like, let's do it again. That was so easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Um, but but like so many things, the lumps make you who you are, right? Like even when I look at an episode and I'm like, oh, I can kind of see the zipper up the back of the uh, werewolf costume. <laughs> like I think like that's I don't know. The I charm. think you that's the charm and the mess. And is anything messier than Winona Earp, both the character and the show? No. So I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change a note. I would have liked to know like, if someone had a crush on me. Oh my God, okay. that was like life changing. No. Mm. Yeah, I don't learn yeah. a lot. Learning. Anything so. y'all would have done differently? Like, yeah. It's so hard because he it's grows so much, question, right? Yeah. I feel like when I look back, I'm like, wow, you were such a baby. Yes. You were a baby. I, I mean, I filmed from 25 to 30, which is like such an impressionable time in, in someone's life, right? Like 25 to 30, you're semi becoming an adult, I guess. I mean, you are kind of at 25, but I, I yeah. felt oh, so young. Yeah. And I was like, came to Canada and like from England and it was such a change of scene. And I remember arriving and being like, the cars are so big. <laughs> and then having to have like <laughs> driving lessons oh, so yeah, that I right. wouldn't go down the wrong side of the oh, road, yeah. but still did <laughs> like, yeah. in my first driving lesson, just <laughs> and maybe accidentally, you know, messed up my car a little bit. Um, anyway, no, I I feel like yeah, much like you, I wouldn't have changed a note. I don't. I think I needed to live the adventure as I did, and I needed to go through the difficulty, and there was difficulty. Like, I, when I first came into the show, I had such low self-confidence and so, like, really loud demons, to be honest, that I had to fight with all the time. And, you know, had just come from a job where I was quite traumatized, to be honest, so was really thinking I was gonna be fired, like, the majority of the first season. And, and yet when I look back, I'm like, I was absolutely supposed to live it exactly like that in order to tell the story in the way that we did and in order to like come out with the blessings that we have because it was like learning as we go through that way, actually this is a safe place and this is a family and you are okay. And had I gone back and told myself, I don't know, I it wouldn't have been the same. It's yeah. important that we lived it like that. So, yeah, I think like you, I, I wouldn't have changed anything and I'm grateful for the way it, it all um, unfolded. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ditto for you then, all right. Hello, my name is Savannah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Why, um. <laughs> why did Tim tr turn into a Vampire. That's a great, great question. question. <laughs> Why did you turn into? Why a did we turn him into a vampire? Yeah, do you want to? Um, I mean, it was a choice. <laughs> Savannah sometimes growing up makes choices when they're tired that are like <laughs> they need to come up with story and they just go to Crazyville and then it's happening and you can't take it back. Um, I think because his character was so sad because he didn't think Winona loved him and then. He was sad because he thought maybe if he could live forever, he could fix some mistakes, but none of us live forever, but we just have to make an amazing life and you're gonna have an amazing life and just uh, live a really big life and uh, be Savannah, the best that you can be. End of story. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's a great question. I, I don't know. But don't become a vampire if you have a choice. I don't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? What's your question? Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm Brittany. Hi. Um, I just was wondering as an Urper community, if we could wish Casey and Carmen a happy birthday, because it's their birthday today. Of course, the twins? Yeah. The twins, happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Casey and Carmen. Carmen. <laughs> Dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh my God. Happy birthday. One thing Say for sure. Chaton tour. This this will be a memorable panel. Yep. <laughs> Take it all in. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good. Who's up next? Okay, so uh, my question is for Dom. Um, whenever I first heard about the show, I was actually in a relationship with a guy. I felt like I had to be in a relationship. A with boy a guy. man. A boy man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was in a really dark place, and I felt like at the time I couldn't watch the show because like I had to stick it out and be with a guy. And I was just in a really dark place. And um, my question to you is, have you like been in a dark place like that? Like where you felt like you couldn't, like you were trapped? Or like what kind of advice would you have for somebody going through that? And she's, she's my Nicole. <laughs> By the way. <sighs> yeah, I, I've definitely, I've definitely, um, had moments of darkness for sure. Um, and I think that a lot of people that have been on a queer journey have had moments where you feel really lost and confused and like you don't really know, you can't really see the path, you know, to the destination that you sometimes see in other people that are like out and free and I remember when I was like started doing the conventions and everything and I just felt like such a fraud because I was like if only people knew like people would be coming to see me and being like thanks to Waverly I had the courage to come out and all I wanted to say was like thanks to you I'm on my way <laughs> It's true it's like I know, yeah. damn it. That <laughs> one, this I, you feel it. I know, me too. Here. So yeah, thank you. That's very kind. Um, well, it's not here. It's not your first day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there definitely were moments where like I would come off stage and just be like, ah, this is this is really scary. Um, and what advice would I give? Find your people, I guess, and and just, I guess now looking back, I'm like, it's so human to, to be in a dark place. Like, I think that we don't really talk about it a lot. Like, you know, I, I think that more and more it's becoming common to, like, talk about the demons that we face or the t dark times that we have and, like, vocalize it, but I think it's like a very common human experience and you're not alone, you know? And just to like remind yourself that like this too shall pass. Like right now it's feeling really heavy, but the, the sun will come out again and to just try and find someone, something, that you that gives you that strength and support and and just stick at it because because you really aren't alone and and we are in this together. I love I that. Don't stop mean? trying to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Heather. Um, my question is I got to think of what it was. Okay, this is more of an Emily question, but anybody can answer it. Um, when you, you're writing, do you write it all out and then just trash it and say, well, that's crap, and then just start again, or do you edit? Uh, it, it, it depends on if it's for me or if I'm getting paid and people need it on set tomorrow, <laughs> right? Like, that is the honest truth. I often say to people, writer's block is for amateurs, and what I mean by that is, like, sometimes you literally just don't have the luxury. You can have food poisoning and you're writing on the toilet because I uh, just want to leave you with a glamorous image at the end of the thing. No, but I, I just, I just, 
something is better than nothing. Anything is better than nothing. You can't fix nothing. Does that make sense? Like nothing is scarier than the blank page. So I always say to people, right at the top, this is the crap draft. And just be like, oh, I'm a writer, doink, doink, doink. <laughs> because then you don't, because then you, it's not blank anymore, right? So, um, but just specifically, Heather, like when I write a draft, I tend to write the whole thing and then go back and edit. Because I almost like can like put on a different hat and be like, I'm an editor now and somebody wrote this and I'm going to do that. So, <laughs> but there's all sorts of different ways to do it. There's no right way to write. You can jump around, you can write it all at once, you can write it over years. Just if you want to write, write. That's my advice. Yeah, I have a friend that taught classes, and he was just like, pardon the phrase, kill your babies. Oh, yeah. I, I hate that phrase, but that's just what he would use. You have to um, all the time. You just can't be precious. Yeah, but yeah. that's almost the hardest thing to learn is to edit and just to, like, let go, let go. Believe in yourself that you always have something better, that just, you had one, just because you had one idea on Monday doesn't mean your idea on Wednesday isn't worth saving and replacing. It's okay. We all grow and change. Yeah. Question. Thanks. Good question. So we have about five minutes left. So we got these final questions. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Michelle. Oh, grabbing them. I <laughs> respect. Uh, so I, my name is Ashley. I had a question for all three of you guys, but then something Dom said caused me to pivot. So you said you're rewatching the series. Have you seen yourself change, like from when you realized that you were queer, like from the beginning of the season, the seasons where you were kind of suppressing it, until where you finally accepted yourself, came out, and then was fully Dom. Do you, do you see that in the show? Well, I knew I was queer when I was playing the character. Um, yeah, when I first read that script, I was like, oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is happening for a reason. But what was kind of special about it is, like, getting to, like, live the experience through playing Waverly. It was almost like a trial run, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like when she has that moment where she's like, I, this is the scariest thing, you know, I've, I've forgotten the line now, but the, you know. I wanna do things that scare me. Exactly. Uh, that's, that was pretty much Dom speaking, you know? And it was like, that, it was kind of amazing watching, watching it back and being like, it felt so real because I guess on some level it was. Um, but then seeing the evolution to like the last season and obviously having come out and was much more free in who I was, like I definitely, f I, I think it, it looks more comfortable, but um, yeah, I don't know if that answered your question. No, it does, I think, because I can tell, I think I can tell, like I think I can see your, your true realization and then in the later seasons you can like truly see yourself, if that makes any sense. Cool, that's awesome to hear, thank you. Hello, um, I'm Courtney, and um, myself, my wife, and my daughter are huge fans of the show, but um, there's someone who couldn't be here today. Our best friend uh, recently lost her dad unexpectedly, and she was supposed to be here, and she is like the biggest fan I know of the show. Um, so I just kind of want to ask more of a lighthearted question to sort of lift her spirits. Um, what kind of like shenanigans and that kind of stuff did, went on behind the scenes? Like what's your f like favorite moments behind the scenes? God, there's just so much. If you, if there are, if you can say them, cause I mean, yeah, no, inappropriate. It's, it's more like there was so much shenanigans <laughs> okay. that we have to pinpoint a specific shenana gee. <laughs> Should again a guy. Yeah. Oh man. I feel like my favorite moments were when we were like just super loopy. Like Oh yeah. End of the day. Eating the Jolene baked eating goods. No jo oh, that's what came oh, to my sorry, mind. Joe, no, sorry, you could. But just like those moments where you're like, this is the coolest show to be on that when you like cut it's still continuing, like the madness continues. Um, but definitely the Jolene, e the eating the Jolene cakes was like, we went home like, did you didn't have the next script, right? Yeah, so you're like, no what idea what was happening. Yeah. Did we go too much? Like, no. um, I don't know, is anything coming to your mind? Yeah, that night for sure, because that was the only time of all the scripts and all the crazy things that we did <laughs> that I had no idea what we were doing. Oh, that God. was the only time on this show, and all of us were like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, and what is happening? And carbs? And it was like 10.30? Oh, it was yeah. crazy. Um, 
I wasn't thinking about Cobb. I was. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank Thank you. You. Say hi to your friends. Sorry yeah. they couldn't be here. Thank you. Hi. I'm Tim, I'm really enjoying Surreal Estate this, yeah. this season. Yeah, so good. <laughs> nice, nice Easter eggs on Wednesday. Yes. I hope everybody yeah. saw them all. So for Adam, my question is, if you appeared in Surreal Estate, would you want to be a homeowner or a ghost or a demon? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Um, <laughs> That's, I, I'm gonna get on that because I feel like a bad friend. Um, what would I want to be, Tim? You Do tell you me. Are you haunted or the haunter? Demon! Ghost. Ghost. I, I instantly went with ghost, I think. What would you say? Well, ghost, because I'm the only one that speaks to ghosts, so hey. we'll hang out the whole time. It would be great. Okay, yeah. awesome. Sounds amazing. Okay. I'll take a ghost. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our final question. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I just enjoy your sh show so much. Whenever I'm stressed or if I have a long day, your show makes me feel so much better. Aww, thank you. Um, my question is for Tim. Since Doc Holiday is so built into history, and there's been so many different representations, did you have to do a lot of research for the character, or, well, you know, sharpshooting practice, things like that? Um, what's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You really threw me under the bus, Elizabeth. <laughs> I, I dodged this question before, and now I can't get out of it. I should have done more research looking back. Um, because yeah. when they asked me before if I could have changed anything or not changed anything, I didn't answer. Uh, it's because um, and I did fix it in the later seasons, but John Henry Holiday was left-handed. Oh. Season one, he might have shot more with the right. If you look going onwards... Season two, three, and four, he shoots both. And, 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 and it's because when I was stuck in the well with my guns yeah. for 150, 80 years, 52, for a while, I taught myself to shoot the uh, right. weapons uh, with both hands, right. which is why it, it makes sense. Yeah. But, uh, that's, the excellent. That's what, uh, that's what I'm, but yeah. I should have done more research. Yeah. Well, thank you, and you guys all did an amazing job. Oh, thank, thank you, Elizabeth. You. And not a single math question today. Know, oh my move. gosh. Um, thank you guys so much for speaking your truth, being so open, being so honest. This has been such a joy. Um, any last thoughts you guys want to leave us here before we take a big group picture? Guys, thanks for always showing up for us. It makes me so emotional. Thanks for always coming. Thanks to the originals, and so nice to meet so many new faces this weekend. But thank you for showing up for the greatest cast in the history of the world. Yeah. We love you. Thank you. Thank you.